started and um, this is the second segment I would say segment segment okay of the show the simulation yeah. so far I will always exp uh, I always um, we always read um, um, some citations to you or quotations for these segments we have just three okay first we have here is decide for yourself learn for yourself answer for yourself number two the regrets that most people experience in life comes from failing to act when they have an opportunity okay that is the second one the third one we have many spend many spend too much time dreaming of the future never realizing that a little of it arrives every day simple so we have um famous soft food drink okay this is a uh, famous soft food drink you can see the content here and there and uh is when it explodes i don't want to open it here because i'm afraid it's gonna it's gonna create a hole in the ceiling due to the um, um the violent uh, collision um with the um stop our cock of the can and the ceiling so i don't want to open it here okay when i go outside i am going to open it but if you're watching on youtube you probably must have had um a short video of what will happen if i open this drink famous soft fruit drinks and invented work okay when you open it is gonna shoot out boom okay it can it can really really cause harm if the person does not open it carefully that's why i'm the only one opening it all the time okay because i know a lot about it i created it okay so i know what is in it okay that is it so that's famous soft fruit drink okay and uh, if you are a subscriber you always get this uh, update on the um, fruit drink all the time so right now this is the show proper we're going this is the show proper we want to talk about simulation so please mr christine can you tell us what simulation is what is simulation okay thank you for having me back on okay. the show yeah um, simulation yeah, it means assuming an appearance which is faint or not true. I try to assume something is not real. Okay. You know, as simulation, like at the game, trying to assume something like not as it is in reality. That's simulation. Okay. Not as not, uh, not as it is in reality. Uh, trying to assume something like it's not real. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna assume probably if what if life is fake. People ask yourself, before we understand if life is fake, we need to, that means if we are saying life is a simulation, we are saying life is fake, right? Like, I mean, so we are saying life is not real. So can you define what real is? What can I call real? When should I say something is real? Okay. Now, we say that something is real if that thing can be felt. Like if it can be felt, it can be seen, it can be heard, you can possess in your mind and know that this is real. Like it has a concrete existence that can be perceived. Like if it's empirical, like you can, you know, uh, test that thing and see that this is true, you know, that thing is real. Okay. Yeah. Well, if I'm possessed, felt, etc., then you say that thing is real okay does real have magnitude can we measure it is it like is it does it have size like this thing is real to a certain extent this thing is real to a certain extent is it possible that way uh, yeah 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 some things can be real to certain extents actually yeah if you look at the world we live, we live in uh, some things appear not to be real in, in, in this world, yeah. but then we still live with those things. Yeah. So those ones are real to the extent to which they are real. Okay. But some ones that we believe are real, absolutely, are real, you know, for real. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they are real for real, okay? And uh, so uh, let's start with the microscopic view of everything right now. Let's go into sales right now because um in a but in some in a time okay let's just say um back in time okay 
we we were not able to know what sales are okay we don't know anything about sales we only know the physical thing but when robert hook a crazy guy decided to check he saw something called sales right that opened her eyes he gave us a whole view of life probably we must have been having different a different opinion about life at that time but that discovery changed everything so right now looking at what we don't see do you agree with me that there are other things that we don't see that still exist that we have not yet discovered Before cells, like you said, were discovered, they were not known then. Yeah. And some other things, atoms in chemistry, mm -hmm. molecules, and all those sort of stuff. Yeah. Before they were discovered, they were not known. Yeah. And you know, they happened to be discovered by some scientists. Yeah. So that means that even up till now, there are things I believe, yeah, there are things which are yet to be discovered. Uh, possibly because okay, even right now in the modern world now, how far we've gone in technology. There are still advancements, like new things come out every day. Yeah. So if we look at take our mind back like ten years ago, yeah. Those new things were undiscovered. Yes. Like ten years ago. Even impossible and some of them. them today. So yeah. there are still yeah, there, there are things which will be discovered in some years to come. Yeah, I believe that there are some things which are not yet discovered, but they exist and they are real where yeah. they are. <laughs> okay, they exist that you are real when you have it. Doesn't this make it look like life is a game? It makes it look like it's a game because if it's not a game, then everything will just be fixed and just come up once. But now it looks like there's something that is unveiling gradually, gradually. Gradually. I think this alone makes it look like a game. Because when you are playing Grand Theft Auto Auto, let's get to it. If you are playing Grand Theft Auto Auto you play the game, it, 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 makes up, it, it, it consists of different stages, right? Stage 1, you probably, if you are playing the mission part, probably, I think you go, this belong I play PS2, you go to a um, baby saloon, you have some bad guys, CJ wants to go to his house, locate your house, you have CJ here and there, and uh, you see stages. From there, you go to another mission, stages. If life is actually real, then I think... It will be probably just once. Like, let me explain this thing right now. We'll clear it to you. If life is actually real, it will look like a chemical reaction. You put acid, HCl, and a base, NaOH. What is it going to give to you? Salt and water. There's no kind of probably stage you are going before. Oh, there's no stage. It gives you salt and water. That tells you it is real. There's nothing you can do about it anymore. But this life we're living in is not like that. It, it, it seems to be cons to consist of stages. We're going from here to this place. That alone, to me, proves that we're in a big simulation. That we're in a big simulation. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> so you have something to say. Do you have something to say? Do you have anything to say from what I just said? Okay, or... yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will agree with you. Like, what is that life is like a game. Yeah. Actually, yeah. It's like an adventure. Like, yeah. I remember back then that there are games we call adventure yes. games. Yes. As you keep going, you keep yes. seeing new things. Yes. You keep seeing new, new challenges. You keep seeing new enemies. To yes. Fight, yes. Deal with them. Yeah. So that's how it. That's how it is. Yeah. Is how it is. So as you keep going, you keep, you know, discovering new things. It's yeah. not stereotyped. It's not fixed. Yes. It's this way. Though some things happen, yeah, some things happen in a fixed way in life. Uh, but life isn't stereotyped. Like new things emerge as you keep going through life. Yeah. In that sense, I would say that you know the substance of life, the those. Those ones are real, but the experience is the form, like the form in which those things come are not real. But I don't know, like the world is real, <laughs> humans are real. But yeah. that, our experiences, things we go through, things we see are not real. Yes. Okay. Like, I, I have a kind of a, 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 a ambivalent view on this now. Okay. Like two phase yeah, view two on yeah. this. Life is real, humans real. are real, but the experiences <laughs> are not real. Okay. 
now you said the uh life is really substances are real but um i beg to differ that probably the substances are not real too yes. because the substances are not really fixed too you see there's an experiment called delayed choice experiment okay you will see some of the physicists do talk about this right now you said some of these the substances are real but the substances are not also fixed it's just like the stages too I will, I will talk about that. A certain principle by Eisenberg. The reason why Eisenberg said momentum and energy can not be, uh, not be uh, measured together was because of this simulation we're talking about. Many people don't know. The fee Eisenberg just came up and said that nope. He said that because of the simulation thought. Most of them were really confused. As a result of the experiments they were conducting and the result. He said, hey, you can't measure these two things together. He's telling you this is not a fixed thing. It changes, but how and why? That was the reason he said it. Uh, Essenberg and uh, another scientist too, they get, like, it is from this simulation thing we're talking about. The guy was confused. Okay, <laughs> he was confused. So he said particles are real, substances of the earth are real, um, that this and that, but um, I, I, don't, I don't think that, I don't think they are real. Um, let's, I don't think they are real because even machines nowadays, uh, shows advanced development, okay? Um, someone once said in the book that machines do need rest. Do you believe machines do need rest? Sometimes a machine can malfunction, but when you give it rest, it's going to come up. Now, they're not behaving like humans. They are so they are machines. They're supposed to act as long as we want them to act. But now they need rest, just as we need rest. <laughs> That's a playful part of it. So, there's an experiment called the literature experiment. Okay, this literature experiment tells you it's all called individual particles of light, photons. I know if you're not a science student here, you're watching, you may not understand this, but photons are the individual particles of light. When we get a slit, we get a board or probably a barrier, a barrier, okay, and we have a board, okay, and before after this barrier, let's assume this is the barrier, and we have a board or probably a screen. Let's call it a screen, okay. And we have a, we have a, we have probably a little, probably a slit. Probably, when I mean a slit, I mean a rectangular um, object or board that is having holes in it of a specific particular shape, okay. Then we have a slit in front of the probably photon shooter, shooter okay, something that we can use to fire photon. Okay, now if we have a measuring device, okay, looking at what will happen when the photons are fired at that slit, if you look at that, when the photons are fired, without you looking at the slit, you put the photons act like they are particles. They go, you know, particles will, will act now, particles will go through the slit and form the exact shape of the slit, right? To form the exact shape of the slit. So the particles, the photons, they went through the slit, forming the shape of the slit on its on the screen. So now they did that experiment again. Then the, another press they, they did that experiment again. And when you look through the measuring device, or it, like it, it was a camera, when you look through it and you fire the photons, you see a wave pattern observed. The particles now, photons now act like a wave they then looked it looked as if there was no there's no barrier at first in, in the on uh, 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 um there's no it looks as if there's no barrier it just goes through this this slit without forming any images of the slit like it just like a wave just like you put water in somewhere in a place and water wants to go through um an opening it goes through everything everything that is how the photons behave they behave like a um wave okay so that's why scientists were really confused like if this is your particles and how come behaving like a wave that's the confusion okay so you said particles are are really real like that's the late choice experiment it's a known fact to just check it out when you are done just check the late choice experiment just search it on youtube it's everywhere youtube google 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 has a fantastic explanation to this just search it on google better better just check it on google you see the delayed choice experiment that proves to us that hey particles aren't real but who are thinking they were real you see the phases i'm talking about see the stages i'm talking about if life was real it will just be one thing. 
there won't be these stages. We weren't, we didn't, didn't, we didn't know it was like that at first, but now we see this unveiling. And probably in years to come, we may find another thing again about it. So why is there this unveiling of a thing? That's what really I don't really know. I don't really know what's going on. So that is it. So do you have anything to say? Okay, yeah, um, kudos for all the detailed explanation and yeah. the citation, the experiments, <laughs> you know, extras I gave. Yeah. yeah kudos on, on that one. So, yeah, when I say substances, actually, um, I would have tried to specify it, actually. Yeah. Yeah, because if I take it to particles in science, mm -hmm. but particles, like we know, as wave and as matter. Yeah. Like you say, that that's what creates also control to scientists. Mm. Uh, but yeah, when I say substances, like I mean, like those tangible ones, like those tangible things that we see in the world, like humans, yeah, human, human, human beings, like the life we live, life, like life, the, the life we live is what I mean by the okay. substance. Like we are real, but things that happen to us are not real. real. That's the angle I'm trying to drive at. Okay. Uh, but not like trying to, you know, try to bring it down to particles. Okay. Because that, that would flow what I'm saying, actually. <laughs> yeah. But humans, uh, life on Earth, I think is real. But now, um, experiences that happen to humans who have this life are not mm. real. Because just like um, we spoke uh, previously on happiness and emotional and, and all that. Stuff. Yeah. 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 So we live a, like, we live our life knowing that it's real. But then, happiness now or sadness, they come and they go. Mm. Like, someone can be happy now. In the next minute or hour or so, the happiness just vanish away. Like mm. it's transient, it's, yes. casting, it's temporary, it's temporary. So things like that, I, I, every other thing that happens in on, on this planet, are not real. Yeah. Okay. But the people or the substances to to whom those things happen mm. are real. Okay. The world is real. Okay. The, people, the world is real. Are okay. real to the gods. Okay. The experiences that happen, the forms of experience that happen are not real. Okay, <laughs> okay, that is it. I'm speaking from that view, and that's good. Let, let's continue that way. But one question I want to ask you: You said the word is real, right? Someone said that means you are saying, yes. okay, the word is real. That if you die, the word. Um, uh, someone somebody said, hey, what if you die and the word stops to exist for you? Person said, hey, no, if you die, the world continues to exist. Like that's what you are trying to say. Like it is real. But the experiences yeah. and what happens to us probably is not probably real. Yes. <laughs> so that's what you are yes. trying to say. The components, the, the okay. components, yeah. Are not real. Okay. That is that is yeah. that is it. Okay. That is it. 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 Okay. So right now, can you you are also, are you trying to see we are in a simulation? Let's get that clearly. If we are saying we are in a simulation, uh, then what yeah, kind of simulation? I'm saying that, but partially, like okay. not completely, which I have to clarify. Ambivalent, yeah. We are in a simulation, actually. Like, it's, it's <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's like a movie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the world is like a movie. Okay. And it's like we have an unknown director. Yes. Like, we, there's an unknown force somewhere that controls the affairs of the world. Yes. Do you understand? Yeah. Like, in a, in, a, in a movie now, people who watch movies, they try to play along, like, when you see actors and actresses, you try to play along to pretend as if you are understanding what's uh, like you are feeling what, what's going on. Yes, in the movie. So, they are not. You understand? so <laughs> this so it's as such. Yeah. You know, like we have um like I say, a director somewhere else. Mm. Uh to some persons now they now see this as several things. Like people who are into religion mm. see it as um, as a god. Science is, is as a force, yes, and so on and so forth. Yes. Yeah, so I see it that way. Yeah, the wow. world is just like moving. We are, it's a simulation, like it's not real. It's not real. You know, yeah, yeah the activities that, that are going here. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so right now I want to bring something. Um, it's just an idea right now. <laughs> Um, it says something in every simulation the source 
origin is not always clear. It's not always clear in every simulation. For instance, now imagine you were CJ. CJ in Grand Theft Auto. Imagine you were CJ. CJ is the guy, the gangster. Imagine you were the gangster in the game. And imagine you were conscious. Would you know where you came from? The answer is nope. You wouldn't know where you came from. All you know is, I am having this experience. I can injure people, I can stab them, I can get their money. I have a house, CJ's house. I go to the saloon, I cut my hair. But how he actually got himself there, he just doesn't know. And if you check right now, ask yourself right now, where did we really come from? If we were to assume we don't know the Bible's view of it, if we were to assume we never taught the Bible, what would be your answer right now? Your answer would be, hey, I came from my mother. You ask your mother that question, your mother is going to say, hey, I also came from my mother, so I, do, I don't know. You ask your grandmother, I oh, came from my mother. You ask them, I came from my mother. You ask them, I came from my mother. So where are we really from? Is this not a proof when a big simulation? Why not? There's a continuous stuff that probably we don't know if it started from somewhere. And if you check even programming, there's this. If you check all this programming code, you see this long straight line of numbers. Okay, <laughs> you don't know. We probably don't know where it came from, but very long continuing. We don't know. So, like, are we being coded? That is it. Is there something really driving us? Physics says there's something driving us. Religion says there's something driving us. Religion calls it God. Physics calls it force. But. That is, those are, to me, I say those are minor proof that we're in a simulation. The main proof that we're in a simulation is the source origin. In every simulation, the source origin is not always clear. So right now, what do you think about this, our source origin not being clear? Like, uh, does it relate to simulation? Does it prove that we're in a simulation? Yeah, you know, um, the source origin is what brings about the simulation, <laughs> like... It's what is is why we think that things are not real. This is what you and it affects every facet of the leaf. Yeah. Like you said, in science it's called force. Yeah. In religion it's called God. Yeah. And in several other, you know, um area, they have what they call it force. It just boils down to me, like for me, it just boils down to the fact that there is a force behind Everything. what goes on. <laughs> There's a force that, that controls every universe. Yes. There's yeah. a force. That now it's now up to you want to believe. Which force do you think this is? <laughs> is it called to you? Is it force as a science? Is it this? Is it that? Is it that? Is it that? But myself personally, as a Christian, of course, my name is Christian, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So as a Christian, <laughs> so I still, I still, I still want to believe that it is God. Like it is God. Yeah. Because, or oh, let me say. There's a force behind everything. That explains why there are some metaphysical stuff that happen. Like some things that are above physical yes. occurrence. Some things that happen like magic mm -hmm. and some, some other things. Some powers. People exhibit powers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because there's a force that controls the, you know, what goes on, on on this particular earth. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. That's and beautiful. That, that force still. That force for me. That mm. force is still the force of creation. Yeah. So if I stop at that force and stop questioning the force beyond that one, I'll avoid, you know, trying to know the source origin of everything. Yes. Because they call it infinite regression. Like you keep going and going and going mm. and still won't get an answer to your confusion. <laughs> so the Bible solves a problem there. Imagine the Bible didn't tell us about creation, man. We'll be puzzled by now. That's an answer. So and that's really, so the Bible solved the problem because when you go like that, the retrogation, you, you, you give it to me. Where did life come from? Ask your parents, my parents, my mother gave it to me, 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 my mother gave, it to, my mother gave birth to me. Damn. But if you use the Bible now, you're going to know, hey, there was a source, someone planted this whole thing. Just like I gave an explanation, just like, just like plants, okay? You have a seed, you sow it to the ground, it grows. Okay, the seed bears fruits. Okay, and this fruit on its own falls to the ground. Okay, then it splits into two. Then the seed touch the ground on its own, it grows like that on and on. This one gave better fruits, the fruit fell to the ground. 
touch the ground, split it to two, see touch the ground, it grows. Now, if you ask these plants, now this generation of plants coming out from this old system, ask the first one, not the first one I planted, though, I mean the baby of all of, of all of them. Ask the baby, hey, where did it come from? Hey, probably I came from my plants. It's because it looks like me and it's bigger than me. Probably I came from the plant, okay? Then you ask the other one that followed, hey, probably I came from the plant. I gave birth to this, this one, but I think this one gave birth to me. Probably I am from there. Go ask that one. You keep asking, no one's going to give you an answer. But the reality of that system is I sowed the seed. And if you ask the big plants, who sowed you? Who planted you? It may not know. Because when I sowed it, it was not living. Probably, what if this is the whole thing? And the Bible tells us this is the whole thing. And I really think it is true. I'm not just saying this because it's my religious manuscript here. I don't know. This is the solution. This is really the solution. Because just like I planted the seed now, it grows and gives birth to this many bunch of things. The other one didn't need my effort to come up. It was the only first one needed my effort just for me to sow the seed only. Okay? Now, what if we are the plants and God is the one who sowed the seed? But when God sowed the first seed, probably, like, from what I'm saying right now, then I will be saying Adam and Eve was not even conscious when God created them. It was after he created them, everything, they decided becoming conscious. So what if we are the plants and God is the one who sowed the seed, the first seed of life? Okay? So I think this is the kind of simulation we are in when it comes to creation. This is the kind of simulation, okay? And uh, I think this is the kind of simulation. This is the best way we can ever explain it. So right now, let's go into reincarnation. Do you believe it is real? Do people die and come back to life? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> like, those more try, those, I think... Okay. Hello. Okay, I can I, I can hear you. Yeah. My my yeah yeah. My personal thoughts mm. about it. Personally, mm. I believe it is real reincarnation. I believe but I have like a, a particular view of it. Like there's a, a particular pers perception I have of it. Okay. Uh, it's not like somebody would die and come back again. That's a person who come back again and, and start living. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. You know. What, how I feel about it can also be drawn somehow from creation, like in the Bible. You understand? Mm. Like if I go to the Bible, the Bible says that God made the first man from, from, from dust. Like he made Adam from mold. He, yeah. he, he was molded. And after he made Adam, he breathed um, 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 a breath of life into his nostrils. Yeah. And he became a living soul. Yes. Okay. And also, the, the same Bible says that God made man in his image. And we're meant to know that um, God is a tripartite um, being, you know, having yeah. um, spirit, so, soul, and like the, the three one stuff, like yeah. one has yeah. body, soul, and spirit. Yeah. Now, what, what I believe personally is this when a person dies, when a person dies, that the body will be buried, like it will, it will decay, yeah. it will be decomposed by bacteria. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then the soul goes back to. Is or her creator. Yeah. Then I believe that the spirit simply means that breath of life that God gave to Adam mm -hmm. in the past creation. Mm -hmm. That's a breath of life. I think is a spirit. Then that, that particular spirit is what leaves the body and starts to hover over about the earth, the earth, you know. Mm -hmm. It hovers about the earth, yeah. seeking for a new body it would give life to. Okay. You understand? Okay. So if it gets a new body to give life to. It enters the new body. It is, it's a spiritual structure. It's okay. metaphysical. It's not a, a physical stuff. Mm. So that's, that's what I think about reincarnation. Well, I love that view. That view. <laughs> I love that view. That view of it makes sense. That view of it makes sense. So because of this reincarnation stuff, like I would like to probably yeah. talk with or speak with those who have worked in mortuary. Those people are powerful people. They can tell us what is really going on. If we question them very well, I think we will be able to know the we will get the piece of information that we need to actually conclude this whole thing. Those people working there, I think they have report of 
probably different things happening how they get into the mortuary some of them you go through the back and i don't really know that i don't have that through that issue when you, you want to get to the mortuary you go through the back you don't go through the front you don't go with your face front like this you don't approach, you don't go through the door that way i don't really know how true is this but that's what i heard and uh so but i don't really know but if it's really true that you can't go through the front you can only go to the back and if you go to the front there are always consequences so there must be something real about everything that when we die we actually live because how can something that is not living cause you probably to go mad by breaking their rules it takes something someone that is it takes living thing to initiate discipline it takes living thing to initiate punishment right Plasmodium, it takes a living thing to initiate punishment. Yeah. So right now, um, what do you really think about the results we are having in our country, Nigeria? Let's use the mortuary right now. You don't go through into the mortuary's door um, with your, um, the way you enter your door, your house, face, front. We don't go through it like that in the mortuary. They say you have to go through the back. Okay, is that really true? And what do you think about this connecting simulation uh, what do you think about it okay. <laughs> but I'm not sure. i don't like to care much about that much one stuff <laughs> <laughs> like i don't know much about it like going because I, i've not been there and i don't have to be there in the future so <laughs> uh, okay so I think I would the point that yeah, just rephrase the question and just try to um, to take out that first part and, and ask the <laughs> second part about Nigeria. That part <laughs> is the main question, okay? So if we want to leave that part, we have to leave everything. But there is it right now. After death, if there is after death, if there's life after death, then we can see a life is a simulation. What kind of game is all this? Now if there's life after death, just like Grand Theft Auto, you are playing the game. When Grand Theft, when the um, CJ is busted, you can always you can always start the game, play the game again. So, like I am saying that, if there's life after death, then this is a simulation. It's purely a simulation. It is not a fixed thing. It is purely a simulation. There's life after death. So right now, do you believe this life after death? Yeah, speaking from the um, Christianity point of view, I, I believe. Like, if I don't believe, that means I'm not a Christian. <laughs> because what makes people Christians is that they believe that when they live life here and do good, yeah. as they will live a better life after here. That means there's life after death. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so speaking as a Christian, I believe, yeah, that is life after death. Wow, yes. wow. So that is so I mean mo yeah, that is that is that is that is the whole thing. And um and what are some things that you actually have experienced or you have thought about that makes you really doubt or that makes you feel life is real? Some things I've experienced that make me doubt that life is real. Or feel um, life life and yeah. that is real. Yeah, yeah. Yes, any one of them. You can okay. answer any one uh, of them. Me... Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Okay, okay. Um, it's just the general human experience. People struggle <laughs> in this life to avoid happiness, to get a comfortable life. Yeah. Somebody struggles to go to school. Somebody also to make the money. Yeah. You know, and in the struggle, after the whole struggle, the person might end up making the money. Yeah. Then with the money, the person expects to live for a long time to enjoy that money. Yeah. <laughs> but then his, his life is cut short. He dies. Yeah. Or the money just vanishes away. Yeah. Some, something that happens and just take away the money. Yes. <laughs> so with, with that, I think life is not real in that sense. Like in that sense, it's mm. a simulation. People struggle for happiness. People struggle to be happy. Yeah. But then this 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 minute you are very happy. You are feeling extremely happy. The next minute you are sad, you are moody. <laughs> you know, these are transient. Now, on the other hand, too, people may be going through something, maybe they are sad. 
take it as life has come to an end. You know, so, and that's the mistake some make. Some people end up maybe committing suicide. Mm, yeah. You know, when they are so in some terrible. situation, they terrible. end up ending their lives. Yeah. Without knowing that life is not real. Like those things are simulations. They are not real. Then a person who lives in a, in such situation, if he or she understand that life is not real, he will know that with time those things will, will pass away. Mm. So the things I've experienced that made me think that life is not real is that so what you expect to achieve or you achieve those things don't. Yeah. Yeah. Like people struggle to get some things, riches, happiness, comfort, and all that. Yeah. And when they eventually get those things, those things can't strive to eternity. And like I said, anything that can't try to eternity is simply vanity. Yeah. Speaking of vanity. Now, this one, like, I, I just think now that maybe Solomon had these thoughts. Yes. There are, there are many thoughts, thoughts, like, yes. Whether or not. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, yes. Yeah, because. This man, like we know his story, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, okay, he wants to know what life is all about. But he can, he could not find any. He wants to know what life is all about. Like he could not find anything. Like, and then nothing. Then you know this vanity. Yes, vanity. Yes, <laughs> yes. Nothing is. In, in this era, yeah. In, in this era, his name simulation. Mm. But Solomon, this man was like, it's not about happiness. He got riches, he got everything. Mm. <laughs> he got, but he still wasn't satisfied. Yes. He was women. We got he married and several dress fucking wives. Yes. And all that. Is he about drink? Is he about this or that? So he tries to understand the true meaning of life. Right, but is he about, about wisdom? But he asked God to, to yes. give him wisdom. Yes. And God made him the wisest man on earth. Yeah. Yet he still did not find the answer. He was looking for. Mm. So after everything, he said that all is vanity. vanity. So to answer the question, you know, it's the same thing he went through. Mm. That's the same thing I've gone through to believe that life is not real. Like nothing has um, a lasting endurance. All this is forever. Mm. Wow, wow! <laughs> I think that's, that's that is beautiful. The aspect. Mm, that is beautiful. That vanity of a teen. Just like you're playing a game and in the end get busted, boom, you just come again. What's the need for the game? CJ is gonna ask you, hey, what is my need? What is what's what is the reason I'm here? Okay, I always get busted, okay. <laughs> it is so the nothingness or the meaningness of life is actually a big proof that life is actually a simulation. Or actually a big simulation. So let's go before we end it right now, get to the end of the show right now. What about witchcraft witchcraft is real we've seen people have virtually confessed here and there that they are witches here and there etc here and there does this not make you feel life is actually something else that we've not yet been able to explain or do you think uh, we have explained we have already had the answer to all these questions uh witchcraft Please, just come again, please. Let me understand the question. Okay. Now, does witchcraft, does it make, um, does it really, um, is it, um, <laughs> how do I put it? Okay, witchcraft, you know, I don't know if it's in another place, if you're watching Nigeria, they have something called a witchcraft, okay? And, uh, <laughs> like, does this, um, uh, witchcraft, not um does it not support the I put the um, the simulation idea of it of the thing? Does it not make it look like does it not make life look more meaningless? Uh does it not make life look confusing? Does it not make it seem we are in a simulation? Yeah. Yeah, it, it does, it does. Like anything that um that makes the spiritual realm or the metaphysical realm to connect Mm. The physical realm makes the physical realm look like a simulation. Yeah. Just like dreams. Yeah. Huh, Somebody may sleep and have dreams, nightmare. Yeah, and it may appear very real. Mm. But then, 
What the person wakes up. <laughs> that <laughs> <don't> stops. Yes. <laughs> ends there. Yeah. So if <laughs> so, yeah, those things make life look as if it's a simulation. Oh, yes. And witchcraft too is similar. Because those things are metaphysical stuff. There are things that you can't explain with the rational mind. Yes. You know? Witchcraft, magic, ATC. miracle. Yes. Yeah, and all that. There are things that you can't explain with the rational mind. So I think witchcraft makes life look like a simulation. Yes, it does. Wow. 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 So do you think there are other universes um um or in this our in this in this world? Do you think there are other universes like do you think there's another planet somewhere or um a different universe apart from the one we have? Do you really think another life is actually going on? Because scientists have been trying to they are perplexed with this whole idea, they've been trying to look for life outside the earth and they found traces of life in on planet Mars. Okay, already you have traces of life there on planet yeah. Mars. They've been trying to rediscover, find everywhere yeah. to know if there is life. Yeah. They have planet Mars already. So, do you think there are all that universes right now going on, like alongside us? Do you really think there's life in other places? We have been we are trying to know if there's life in other places, but do you really think that it is real? Okay, um, yeah. You know, even in science, somehow, it's, it looks divided. Like, some people say that there is life outside the Earth. Yeah. You know, the alien stuff and all that. Yeah. But then, if you now come to, like, the um, standard science textbook, like geography or physics and all that, yeah. it's only the Earth that support life. It's only the Earth that we can find life in. And I think, I hold on to that belief that it's only the Earth. I don't think that there is life in some other places. As personally, I don't think so. Okay. I think that only the Earth has life because of the amount of gases, oxygen in it, uh, nitrogen, and the components. The, the water here is good, you know. It's not ice, <laughs> and the temperature is okay here, and all, and all that. The ozone layer is there. So I think that it's only the Earth. But then, about, you know, things outside the Earth, I think, like I said earlier, I think that there's a force that controls this universe yeah. and as a force that controls everything yeah. actually there is the scientist i can't record the name maybe about einstein or, or somebody okay. but say something he didn't act, he didn't just he didn't like call god in any saying <laughs> but he said that for anything to happen for this to happen in an organized way yeah for this to happen in ways that are organized and systematic yeah that there must be an intelligence behind those things happening yeah. and yeah. if we observe the earth and the universe they That's happen true. in organized and systematic manner. Yeah. Like, yeah. When the when the earth rotates, mm-hmm. if it's facing the sun, that's day. Yeah. If it's high from the sun, that's, that's night. Nice. We have seasons. If yes. the earth, if a particular part of the earth is facing the sun, squared, yeah. that's like hot weather. Yeah. It's hiding. That's like cold weather. Yeah. yeah. And we have evaporation and condensation that forms rainfall. Yeah. So this is they happen as if they are organized. So mm-hmm. this person that if this happen in organized way. That there must be an intelligence behind those things happening. Just like you know, this word card, word card, you know what's that? Yes, like? yes, yes. What card? Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. If you come to a room now, let's say your table, mm. and you see five word cards, let's say that that's how the shape triangle, and they are arranged one, you know, they are arranged one here, one here, one here, one here, yes. one here, one here. There's no way those things could have just appear like that. Yes. Somebody placing those things there, there, yes, that that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's systematic, that's organized. That's how the world, you know, mm. happens. That's how things in the world happens. So if there are things, if, if the world happens in such an organized and systematic way, I only think there's a force somewhere, not life, not like um, terrestrial life somewhere. But, and that force to me now is God. Okay. You understand? Yeah. And I believe that the scientist has also spoken in his mind, his mm. God. That's, mm. you know, he, can, he, he, will, he will speak the science language. Yes. <laughs> Okay, yes, this is why scientists are saying force is God is because the force we are talking about it is as intelligent as God. The force like it's as intelligent as God. Okay, you have to tell me okay, force is just holding the planet still holding everything. No. Yeah. That force there must be intelligence shown in the force. There must be that force or the force is as God. That's why science is calling it God. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> so that is that is the whole yeah, thing. But, uh, yeah, but the, the, the force can't be a being, right? Yeah, it can't be a being. The force can't be a being. Yes. Uh, that is the whole thing. But you cannot also tell me there is that shape of God so, too. There must be a being. Can you tell me the exact shape of God? Those watching right now, for instance, they want to ask right now. Can you tell me the exact shape of God? How does God look like? The exact shape of the force of God. Let's speak from the religion view of the force. Sorry, I didn't get you right. Can you can you tell me the exact shape of God? Because Christians also um, have this different view of it. <laughs> So a Christian, God is a bigger human being. Okay, it's a bigger human being. Imagine the explanation I gave of the seed, the plant, the plant, the plant, the plant. If you ask one of them, he's going to say, oh, my mom is big. This is a bigger tree. I think I came from this tree. This must be the creator. For instance, let's say that's one of the, that's what one of the uh, plants said. Hey, this must be the creator. It is bigger than me. It must be the creator. So why, like... What if you ask a buffalo, who is the God? And buffalo says, hey, I don't know, God must be a bigger buffalo. Christians do tend to look at God as a bigger human being. So they feel God should be reasoning the way they reason. God should be doing things the way they do. If God does not react this way, they're going to, they're going to slam God and criticize God. So they feel God is a bigger human being. So right now, I don't think it can be so because there's a book. Um, the, the people's idea on God by Mary Baker E.D. It says, man wishes finite, okay? God wishes, we, God wishes infinite, infinite has become finite because man wishes finite has thought about infinite. You see, God is infinite. But because we are man, we have to make him finite. We have to, yeah, we have to make him finite. God is infinite, boundless, just like force going spreading through the universe. God is infinite, but and there is still intelligence in that infiniteness. But man now is finite. He has a finite mind. So because he has a finite mind, for that infiniteness to flow into the consciousness of man, it has to have a form. It has to have a form. Okay? So it has to have a form. This is something everybody should understand that goes on. So if you are thinking God is a bigger human being, you should understand what I'm going through, you should think like me, like a bigger human being judging you, like your king, you have your king who is decided like, you may be wrong there. God is infinite. God which is infinite has been made finite because man which is infinite, man which is finite has thought about infinite. Okay? It's like a force that spreads through the universe. For God to come into your consciousness, it must be made finite. Okay? Because you are finite, <laughs> you get it. So, right now, this is all we are calling this quits yeah. for today. For this is the whole section of the show. And, uh, in your life, what are your last words? What do you have to say to people about this whole idea? Okay, um, <laughs> what I'll say is that, um, believe, believe what liberates your mind, like. Okay. Once Try to boggle your minds with things down to confuse it for that. <laughs> yeah, if um, the God factor embrace your thoughts, yeah. stick to it. But if I recommend as a Christian, like, I mean, I, yeah, I would recommend that you hold on to the God's belief, like the Christian belief and, and all that, and not try to confuse your mind. Like, I have this friend who was a Christian, at some point, he just said that he's like an atheist. Yeah. <laughs> he's a free thinker. And I, yeah, as 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 the name sounds free thinker, so I, I was thinking that maybe he would to be free, like you'll be free. Okay. Have a free, a free mind. Yeah. But he's always bothered asking questions about metaphysical stuff. That means he's not a free thinker, he's bothered. Yes. He's burdened. That's true. So to avoid the, the burdens and the questions, because these questions we may not come up with so the, the answer. answer. Yeah. Solomon, who we know as the wisest man, was not even <laughs> the answer. So what life is, he just that is valid to 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 debrace his mind, you know. <laughs> so I I would recommend just do what debrace your mind. Mm. What makes you not to go through stress? Okay. <laughs> you know. Yeah. That's really true. That's really good advice. A good piece of advice. Like do what believe what the really breaks your mind, okay? If you was if you want to cling to the physics view of it, then do so. 
Okay, if you want to cling to the religion part of it, then do so. They are all trying to explain one thing. Physics is trying to, science is trying to tell you about there's a force. Religion is also telling you there's a force here and there. It has different explanation within itself too, within religion too. There are different view of it. So just cling to what liberates your mind. Each of them, all of them have equal potential. We may realize that science is free. We may realize that religion is free. So let's see what happens. Maybe let's see what happens. So this is the end of the show right now. And uh, Mr. Christine, you are really, really um um like we're so grateful, okay, for having you today. Um we say I would wish you come on our show again. Okay, so we discuss all that things. Okay, so just stay prepared and stay prepared all the time. Yeah. So this is all we have. Thanks, folks. If you are watching, make sure you hit the sub button. If you have, if you have any questions, just let us know in the comments. Let's go. Thanks. For